when you have the form session done, uh, there's an exercise at the end uh, which requires you to build a contact.html web page, uh, uh, a Ring of Gold and Forms web page. Okay, this is very good experience uh, for you in just building a, a forms web page uh, in the context of a multi page website. Okay, um, CA2, 25% of the marks of CA2 uh, are going to go. Uh, for your form so it's a really important part and certainly in semester two and on into succeeding years how the user gets information uh, to be stored into a database how we validate the data uh, in that information uh, this is all done uh, for, via web page form uh, for the most part so exceptionally important topic uh, so that's why we're asking you to build uh, a second page okay so section uh, 23 of the forms instructions uh, have a screenshot of uh, what the form should look like. Uh, so notice um, the labels here are of different length. Okay, so those two are of the same length. Um, in the address uh, field set, the label lengths are shorter, but they're all the same within that. And then non postal contact details, uh, the lengths are shorter again. So um, Think about how you apply styles to some tags, okay? Is the, is the CSS selector going to be a tag? Is it going to be an ID or is it going to be a class? So you need to think about that. Okay, give the radio buttons a line each uh, and make sure only one of them can be picked and make sure one of them has to be picked. Okay, the submit uh, here on the right-hand side and the reset on the left, just to be contrary, um, Okay, you can see there's center there and you can see there's space here. You, you know um, the special character uh, needed to make uh, space or spaces. Uh, so let's have a look at the page actually in action here. Okay, so I have just highlighted this link here. So you can see our other four pages here, home history culture, and then the rocks that we added in after that. Okay, so contact us. So here, here's the page in action. Uh, click on the submit button. Uh, I'm getting a, a, an error message here. Okay, so let's put something in there. Hit enter. Uh, last name has to be filled in as well. Uh, okay, house number skipped over that. Uh, town and email as well. Okay, so. And some of those extra address if needed, you would not be making that required, okay? Because uh, not everybody's address is the same length. So uh, we click here, and something is still not right. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. The message only comes up when I go up there. Okay, I'm not quite sure why that's <laughs> why that's happening, but uh, I have to select one of them. Uh, and there we go. And then this is going to try and send an email uh, somewhere. So you don't need to worry too much about that uh, code. Just make sure uh, here's here's the information here. Okay, so I already have Outlook open. So here's here's my information here uh, about to be sent uh, to that uh, fake email address that I put in. Okay, so that's what I would like you to actually do. That's what we would like you to actually do in that exercise. Okay, so again, remember, um, take one of the existing pages. Take, say, index.html, uh, save as contact.html. And remember, this is index.html from Ring of Gullion. So contact.html will be in the same uh, web page. Uh, sorry, be in the same folder uh, as the rest of the Ring of Gullion. Uh, so it's going to pick up the common.css uh, and then you're going to need uh, a unique style sheet for this as well, contact.css. And in terms of where your code is going to go, um, as usual with these pages, you're going to have main and section. What I would say is just put some sort of heading in there, H2, and then have your form tag and then all your various uh, field sets and so on. Okay, so that is the task uh, we're setting you, uh, so good luck with that.